welcome to the Northland. So as you can see behind me, we got lots of cars. Today is the last car show, well, last car show of the year that is um, sanctioned or put on by the Northern Star Mustang Club. Um, thank you to Apple Ford in Shakopee for uh, hosting this event. Um, we appreciate uh, everything you guys do for us as a club. Um, these shows are very helpful for charitable reasons. Um, we donate generally, uh, you know, I don't know, funds change constantly because it just depends on how much the car show makes. Um, but generally it's several thousand dollars anyway. Um, and I know it changes. Sometimes it's uh, we give to every meal, we give to disabled American veterans, um, and um, well, there might be a couple others in there too. But anyway, um, we'll go around, we'll get some shots of some of these cars, and uh, hopefully you guys will like some of them. I forgot one of my cameras at home, so uh, I'll do what I can with my phone, I guess. Um, anyway, we have a beautiful day for it, and uh, Sit back and enjoy the show. All right, for you Chevy fans, just to show that I am not biased on this channel, uh, here's a nice-looking Camaro. I love, as you all know, I love this color combination, red and black. Um, I don't remember what year this was, but uh, that, was, that was a pretty good-looking Camaro there. Um, up here we got a Mach 1. I don't remember the year. Um, I want to say maybe it was a 72, but I don't remember. But if you know, please comment below and let me know. All right, moving on here. All right, I know we've had this car on here before from previous car shows, but I love this car. <clears throat> the props are cool, but uh, this is a beautiful oldie here. There we go. All right, moving on. All right, I just, I love this Jeep. Um, we have names of the fallen um, all over the hood of this Jeep. Uh, there's over 7,000 names on that hood. Um, obviously, this is dedicated to the military and first responders. Um, this takes definite dedication to put all this on your vehicle and make it as nice as this so if you own this thank you i appreciate you contact me we'll do an interview if you uh, see this here's a cool chevrolet pickup uh, i love the work in the engine bay here all this custom fabrication work um yeah it's a lot of chrome a lot of customization here all right let's go to the next one all right, I absolutely love this truck. This is my one of my dream trucks right here. This uh, I think it was a '73. I don't remember exactly, but uh, I'll put up a picture of the Marty report uh, here at the end. Uh, this truck was uh, one of, so it's pretty cool. Um, but I love this body style. Just what a gorgeous truck! And I'm going to do an interview with this guy hopefully. Um, either this winter or next spring. Uh, I couldn't do it at the show because of the music. Obviously that's why I'm recording over this um, because of the music. I had to mute it in the background so that YouTube wouldn't put a copyright claim on my video, but there we go. What a gorgeous truck. Here's our resident DJ playing all the greatest hits along with his trusty helper um, doing the raffle drawings and here is some of the volunteer staff from the Mustang Club that make these shows possible say hello everyone all right <laughs> these guys are great here's a beautiful 1972 Nova in uh, bright orange um, this is another color I like but you all know I love these bright colors this is a uh, beautiful attention to detail um, just a beautiful oldie here and I'm not a big fan of chrome, but chrome on these older cars looks good, I think. Here's a beautiful 1928 Ford with a whopping 40 horsepower. I talked to the gentleman for a bit after shooting this, and uh, he bought this as almost a pile of scrap, um, but then eventually tore, tore it completely down and refinished it from the ground up. Every nut and bolt, 
Um, great story. Great guy to talk to. Just a beautiful car. It was funny. He was telling me that initially after buying this, he uh, painted it with a spray can. <laughs> spray paint. And that, obviously, that was before he had refinished it. But, uh, God, I just couldn't get enough of this car. Um, these are one of my favorites. Anyway, let's move on. So here's a gorgeous red 1967 Chevrolet Malibu. And uh, again, I love these, uh, the way these guys do, and girls do these, uh, their engine compartments, just gorgeous. These are a work of art, all these older cars. And uh, I know some of these um, videos are a little up close and personal, but this was the best I could do with what I had on hand since I had forgotten my other camera. So. I apologize, please bear with me here. Okay, and let's move on. And here's a nice looking Shelby. I had to get this one because of the patriotism. Uh, that's, I'm a sucker for the red, white, and blue. Um, but this, this was a nice looking car. Um, you know, I love the little extras on here, just pretty. All right, that'll about wrap this up. All right, pardon the wind noise, please. Um, oh, they're coming for you. Anyway, I also want to apologize for the humming at the end of the video. I didn't realize that the uh, microphone had picked that up in the background. It wasn't very audible to me, so I didn't, um, I didn't hear it, I guess. Uh, anyway. Smash that like and subscribe. Even if you did not like the video, I'd really appreciate it. Um, make sure you hit the little bell at the bottom. That way you'll be notified next time I upload a new video. Uh, like I said, I'm going to have an interview with the owner of that, uh, I think it was a 70, well, God, no, it wasn't a 75 maybe. 75 F150, 250. <laughs> My memory's terrible. Anyway, go ahead, give me crap in the comments. <laughs> It is what it is. I'll, I'll correct it when I can. Um, but anyway, the, the owner of that truck, he was he was wonderful, very accommodating. So uh, should be a good interview. So stay tuned for that coming up here in the future. Uh, make sure you share this video with anybody you think might be interested. And even if they're not interested, share it anyway. Because we like to be annoying sometimes or have fun. I think it's fun. Anyway. All right, so stay safe. Thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Oh, and and if you're still listening, watching, um, we're gonna probably take a little break. I know I got, I think I got one or two more videos coming out, but then there's gonna be a little break. I told you we got something big coming up in November um, that I'm going to need to prepare for. Um, so we may take a week or two off, um, but. I'll post something in November as soon as I can, but this, this is going to be huge. All right. Again, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next video.